everyone! In this video, I'm going to be making Snorlax from Pokemon. I just think he's so cute, and I was playing a lot of um, Shining Pearl and kind of wanted to make some more Pokemon videos. So to start, I'm getting some blue clay, um, and I ended up mixing it with a few other colors to get the exact color of Snorlax. He's like a dark tealy color, so I added a layer blue and then some green just to give it that color, and I mixed these all together. So once I was done mixing, I had this color and I just shaped it into kind of like a thick teardrop shape for his body. Um, and then I'm also using that for his head. And then I went on and made the light brown color for his face and stomach and also for his feet. So I took a light brown and mixed a white and yellow with it. And then I made another like, I guess I flattened out a teardrop shape to put it on his stomach. And here's what it looks like. So next I started making the legs, and for this I'm taking the same blue that I used for the body, um, and I made this weird shape which I cut the end off of because that's the part that's actually going to attach to the body. And here's what it looks like once they're on. And then I moved on to making the arms, which are again the same color blue clay. Uh, they're just little teardrop shapes right now, but they kind of look like wings once I attach them here, but I blended them on. The head is going to sit between them, which will make them look less like wings. So now I'm going to make the head, and for this, again, same blue, I made an oval shape, and then I attached the ears separately. So I made two little triangles for those, and then I just blended them all together to make sure there were no little seams or like anywhere that you could see that they were, you know, originally not attached to each other. You could think of his head kind of like a cat head, it has a similar shape, but here's what all the blue looks like. And then I moved on to more of that same tan color. So with that color, I made these feet, which are, again, like thick raindrops almost. And this shape, whatever that is, I basically made a circle and cut out a triangle at the top. Um, and then I used a darker brown to make the underside of his feet. And next I'm taking white, and this is gonna be used for his toenails and fingernails and also his little teeth. So these are a bunch of just little cones and triangles that I stuck three on each hand and foot. And then his face is black clay, so I just rolled out a really, really thin snake of it. And two little teeth are again two little triangles. And here's what he looks like completely finished. It's an easier sculpture to make, I'd say. There aren't too many steps and you only need four colors. So if you like this video, let me know. And remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye, guys.